evening, dear seekers of the profound and the curious wanderers of the mind's limitless expanses. Tonight, we tread softly into the theater of contemplation, where shadows and light dance in the delicate balance of existence. We invite you to step beyond the veil of the tangible into a realm where the fabric of reality is questioned and the nature of our universe is but a whisper in the cosmic wind. Imagine, if you will, a plane of existence where all that you perceive as three-dimensional is but an elaborate projection from a two-dimensional surface. This is the heart of the holographic universe theory, a concept that teases the boundaries of imagination and physics alike. But before we venture deeper, let us ponder a question that might unsettle the grounds of your perception. Are we, and everything we know, simply holograms, a 2D information pattern projected into the 3D space we call home? At the core of this enigmatic theme are the principles that define the very nature of holography. A hologram captures a three-dimensional image in two dimensions, storing information in such a way that when light is shown through it, a three-dimensional image appears. The holographic universe theory extrapolates this concept to suggest that the entire universe could operate on similar principles, that the entirety of our perceived 3D space is encoded on a 2D boundary. To understand this, we must dive into the depths of quantum mechanics and general relativity. The theory, birthed from the minds of physicists like Leonard Susskind and Gerard at Hooft, emerges from the black hole information paradox. It suggests that all the information swallowed by a black hole is actually contained on its event horizon, and thus, nothing is truly lost. This idea magnificently implies that our universe could be painted on a cosmic canvas, with the higher dimensions being a comprehensive illusion. Voices from the past and present have painted this theory with both skepticism and wonder. Physicist David Bohm had contemplated a similar idea, where he saw the universe as an unfolded order a holographic film from which reality emerges. In the words of Carl Pribram, a neuroscientist, our brains could be thought of as holograms interpreting a holographic universe, a symphony of frequencies orchestrated by the cosmos itself. In the cultural sphere, this theory has inspired a multitude of narratives. Films like The Matrix toy with the notion of a reality that is not what it seems a simulated existence that hints at the holographic principle. Books such as The Holographic Universe by Michael Talbot have explored the implications of this theory on our understanding of reality, consciousness, and even spirituality. Contemporary discussions have not ceased to stir the pot of this cosmic brew. Some scientists argue that the holographic principle could be the key to unifying quantum mechanics and general relativity two pillars of physics that have stood in stubborn isolation. Others warn that we must tread carefully, as the seductive allure of such an elegant theory can blind us to its speculative nature. The relevance of such discussions extends beyond the theoretical. If the universe is indeed a hologram, it could revolutionize our understanding of space, time, and our own consciousness. It poses questions about the nature of reality, the fabric of the cosmos, and our place within this grand design. It compels us to ask whether our senses can be trusted, whether our experiences are mere phantasms on the surface of a profound and unknowable truth. As we synthesize these ideas, let us consider the possibility that our universe is a grand projection, a symphony played out on the strings of fundamental particles and waves. Perhaps in the end, the most accurate depiction of our cosmos is not a sprawling expanse of stars and galaxies, but rather a holographic plate from which this rich and vivid illusion is cast. To you, the intrepid explorers of thought, I extend my deepest gratitude for joining in this cerebral voyage. As we part ways, I leave you with questions to ignite your meditations. What does it mean for our understanding of reality if the holographic principle holds true? How would it shape our perception of existence, our beliefs, and our search for meaning? In anticipation of our next philosophical endeavor, may you carry the light of curiosity and the courage to face the enigma of our existence. Until we meet again, I bid you a tranquil journey through the holographic projections of your dreams and realities. Good night, fellow travelers.
and may the wonder of your contemplations lead you to revelations both profound and transformative.